internet. It is Friday the 2nd of June 2017. I'm in a artificial world called the airport. I'm heading to Fiji and I just dodged a bullet. I couldn't check in online with Virgin. For some reason I tried this yesterday and it just kept giving me an error message. Please see an attendant when you get to the airport. Get to the airport. I explained to the woman. I tried to do the online check and it wouldn't allow me. She looks at my passport. She says you can't fly to Fiji on a passport that expires within six months. My passport expires in September this year. What? You let me buy a ticket and you never once mentioned that I had to have a passport that extended past six months. She said, unfortunately, you can't fly on this passport. What? I'm at the airport and I can't fly? Luckily, I have a British passport, which is valid for another year. Can I fly on my British passport? Of course you can. Wow, I dodged an absolute bullet there. There's a couple of countries in the world. There's Bali, New Zealand and Fiji where you can't travel if your passport's within six months of expiring. Anyway, it's all good now. I'm flying as a Brit. So I mentioned yesterday that I'd explain how this Fiji trip came about. December last year, I saw a special Virgin Blue cheap airfares to Fiji. Never been to Fiji, I wanna go. Called up some friends, who wants to go to Fiji? Got a book now. No one could give me a, a solid answer. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna book tickets and I'm gonna go. So I booked an airfare for today to come back in two weeks just to go to Fiji and have a look and then I sat down and I started looking at all the different areas I wanted to explore and I reached out to resorts, put forward an, an idea that if I came and stayed at your resort, could I make content and do my vlog and could you host me for this stay? I have got four different resorts in Fiji that are hosting me for the next two weeks to create my vlog and to document their resort and the areas that they are in. First one when we arrive in Nandi, the Radisson Blue Resort, and that's for one night. So this vlog will be entirely based around the Radisson Blue Resort in Nandi, uh, Denaru. It's not gonna be my normal content. I'm not gonna do NSD. Anyway, NSD would have been the Vasco era, which we've already done, so it's fine. For the next two weeks, it's gonna be Fiji, Fiji, Fiji. I wish other crew were coming with me, but unfortunately, I'm here by myself, and we are, well, I'm here with you, aren't I? So let's enjoy Fiji through my eyes, your eyes, these eyes, the GH5's eyes. Thank you, man. That's funny. Thank you. It's only a four hour flight to Fiji, and they don't feed you on these planes, so I made the smart decision and bought a $10 one of these things. 10 bucks at the airport, should be six bucks maximum. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. You know me with aisle seats, can't fly international. I always choose an aisle seat. I don't like to be trapped in. People could, you know, box me in there. And this is only a four hour flight, but I'd still rather be on the aisle. It's lucky this is only a four hour flight. Have a look at this, the leg room here. For a person with a big femur, look at this. I miss my Emirates. Rather fly Emirates if possible, but I don't think Emirates fly to Fiji. Collect luggage and Radisson Blue is where I'm headed for the first evening. What a lovely welcome to Fiji! That's me man. Alright. Bula. Bula. Thank, Thank you very much. Alright. On your camera, on your camera. That didn't close. Oh man. Radisson Blue. Good, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Look at this welcome, welcome you get here when you get to the Radisson Blue. This is nah. awesome. You'll be lost for a night, yeah? One night, that's correct. Hey, Barreka. Benon, Benon, Benon. Nice to meet you, man. Barreka. Hey, thanks Barreka. for having me here, man. It's here to make sure that everything's good. Everything's fantastic so yeah, far, so man. Then you can ask any of the staff if there's anything you need. Just down zero, ask the staff. We'll be happy no, no. to assist you. Awesome. So far, been a beautiful welcome here at the Radisson Blue. 
Ah, Vinaka. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, cold towel. Cold towel for my neck. Oh, that's nice. Much appreciated. Here, we'll take you down to one of the bars. Thank you very much. So what's happened there is the room isn't available at this point. They're still doing the housekeeping, but to make things right, they've offered me a complimentary cocktail from the bar. I'm pretty keen to try some Fiji rum, and there's a distillery right around the corner here, so I'm gonna ask for a local rum. I've also been told that this is actually a face wash. It's peppermint, it's beautiful, super refreshing. Peppermint face wash, I'll put it on my neck. Hey Bree! Hi! How are, how are you? you? It's good to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Well, this is the woman I've been dealing with through email and here we are finally meeting. Yeah! <laughs> Marika is giving me a tour of the facilities. Looks beautiful, man. No worries. Welcome to Fiji! Yeah! Everybody says welcome home. Welcome home, yes. This is a nice, a nice gesture, welcome home. Yeah, you feel at home straight away. Exactly, yeah, yeah. you feel comfortable. Bula lady! Bula! Bula. Bula. You kind of have to embrace it. Yeah. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just put Brie on the spot. Brie just told me that I'm the first YouTuber she's hosted here at the Radisson Blue, so I really appreciate that. Thank That's you. That's alright. Yeah. Yeah, give us a minute. Yeah. And Marika, you've got some wonderful things here, man. Yep. I want you to try some local watermelon. Local watermelon. Alright. Mm -hmm. Great. So good. Really tasty. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hula. Hula. And sooner than later, we're going to see a sunset over water here. Breeze just told me my room is right on the edge here, which is going to look towards the western aspect. You know I love the sunset over oceans. It's going to be great. This beer is fantastic, Marika. Thank you. No one. Vanaka. I'm still learning my feet, Jim. <laughs> A lovely welcoming here from Bree and Marika. Radisson Blue, Fiji, they really made me feel like home. The saying here is welcome home. Even though Fiji is not my home, you feel like it is. Now, unfortunately, both Bree and Marika have finished for the day, so I'm now on my own. But that's fine because I've got my, t my room key and I am gonna check in and explore this beautiful resort and this beautiful area. This is such a beautiful place, Danarau. What a room! Wow, this looks beautiful! First thing I need to do is take a quick look at where the sun is right now. Look at this. Wow, check this out. Probably not going to use that spa bath or that deep bath, but um, it's beautiful that it's been provided. This is such a beautiful hotel room. I need to sit down and just make a quick thank you. What I want to do before I go any further is just a thank you, Bree and Marika on behalf of Radisson Blue. Thank you so much for hosting me here for this evening. As Bree mentioned, this is the first time that they've hosted a YouTuber. As everyone that watches my channel knows, I'm not a very big YouTuber, but I do believe I can give you all a great perspective of what this place actually is. We have about two hours till sunset. This resort is family friendly. Bree and Marika have shown me the adults only pool, the adults only area where you can go and relax. And they've also shown me the children's pool and the children's area to relax. So if you come here with a family, you can just bump all your kids into this kids area and go, okay kids, we don't wanna see you until 7 p.m. when this pool closes. You do that and we're gonna be over here. That's what you want as a family, apparently. I don't have kids, so I don't know exactly, but I'd like to think that that's, that's how holidays with families work. You want your kids with you, but you don't wanna see them. And as far as this room goes, I don't need all this space, but thank you. This is what I really wanted to see. A sunset over water. 
in Fiji. Marika was telling me the whole resort, and you can see it, it's a U shape. So like entrance and check-in at the start, and then everything just goes around in a big U. And this year, they're celebrating their 10th anniversary. At the end of the year, there's gonna be a big festivities here. And if you are in Fiji at December time, 2017, these guys are celebrating a birthday, and I'm sure they'd love to have you here to celebrate with them. So the resort has many, many features, many restaurants, and many areas to relax. You've seen a beautiful sunset with me. Unfortunately, I've missed out on a swim. The pool actually closes at seven, so I've missed out on that. Bought a bottle of red from the local bottle shop. It's actually called a BWS, but I don't think that's beer, wine, spirits, even though it did say beer, wine, spirits, but it's not the beer, wine, spirits that you'd be... This is boring. The internet here was pretty slow, so I managed to upload my daily vlog. So in terms of my regular vlog, I'm still going to make... Hang on a second. I'm still going to make a vlog every day, but when you see it, could well be well and truly after the fact. I'm just gonna rely on whenever I get to somewhere with decent internet to upload my regular content. Be aware that I am making the content, I just can't give you the content until later. Good morning. I'm up early because unfortunately, my stay here at the Radisson Blue Denaru Island, Fiji, comes to an end this morning. By the way, have a look at the size of this bed I slept in last night. I didn't even touch this half of it. Bula! 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 That's an amazing assortment of breakfasts, but I just like muesli and a little bit of egg. I don't eat much for breakfast. I'm gonna go with my typical traditional muesli and a couple of eggs, and then I'm done. Enjoy your breakfast. Mm. Thank you very much. I don't eat much for breakfast, but I do like to try scrambled eggs whenever I'm at a hotel. So the dead is all done. That's finished. Vinaka, thank Vinaka. you. Vinaka. Did you enjoy your cereal? It was very nice. Thank you. Vinaka, thank you. enjoy the rest of your breakfast. Thank you so much. Vinaka. People are so friendly here. These eggs are terrific. There's nothing wrong with having two breakfasts. Muesli, cereal and eggs. Fills you up, starts the day perfectly, and a coffee. I might even grab a nani for the road. That's a lovely breakfast and a lovely morning. Unfortunately, I have to leave now. It's been wonderful, but all things must come to an end. It's a shame I'm not gonna get to see Marika and Bree before I leave, but I did say I would drop them an email anyway. It's an early leave, unfortunately, but that's just the way it rolls. It's like it's gonna be a stunning day here in Nandi, but I'm going to Yasua Island. You can say thank you to Bree and Marika for me. Yep. Awesome, thank you, man. Thank you. See you later. See you next time. Vinica. Vinica. There's a free shuttle bus taking me to the Yasawa Flyer, which is a ferry that goes across to Yasawa Island. I've just been told that the courtesy bus from here to the Yasawa Flyer is actually a helicopter. So I've never been in a helicopter before. Let's go on board that helicopter and take a five minute ride to the ferry terminal. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I'm always running out of time on my vlog. Hey, if you like that content, Please do me a solid and subscribe here. Check out the previous vlog here and check out a random vlog here. And if you like doing the snappity snappity clickety clack, that's photography. You might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets here. Does that mean 20 seconds?